everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to Collapsing Timelines. I've been nudged hugely to pop in here to share this, so I'm excited to see who is going to be picking up this transmission today. So for those of you that I have yet to meet in this lovely community, my name is Louisa Havers and I help entrepreneurs and coaches to break through their, their money ceilings and upper limits in life by mastering energetics and applying aligned business strategies. So if this is your first time meeting me, then hello, um, would love to connect with you. And of course, if you're catching the replay, do say hello so I can pop back and say hello as well. So I wanted to touch on collapsing personal timelines and collective timelines, because it's one of the questions that I get asked the most <laughs> when we are talking about, you know, our manifestation and it hasn't shown up or we feel like things should be moving faster. So who would love to be able to master collapsing timelines if you think of the future timelines as paths that you are currently on. Uh, let me know in the comments. I really want everyone to walk away knowing that you can feel really empowered by this reality. So just to give you a, you know, a little bit of context, we always have an infinite number of future timelines within our potential and it, they range across the vibrational scale. So what I mean by that is we have timelines that are of a lower vibration. So these are ego led, they're default timelines that are in line with our current fear patterns, our 3D programming, old paradigms, right up to increasing up to higher timelines that are in alignment with our soul purpose and divine alignment. Hello. And the thing that has the biggest effect on which one we default to is what we're holding in our human Wi-Fi, as I called it. We, we hold in our human Wi-Fi, so this is our energetic field, our personal energetic field, all old timelines, which include all the experiences, the previous traumas, the memories, the beliefs, the emotions, our ancestral patterns and timelines, collective timelines, all making up our identity across you know, all the different roles that we play. So if you think of these as energetic cords holding us back and locking us into a, a, a default timeline moving forward, and we're energetically tethered to our unresolved past with these unhealed timelines. And this has a direct impact on this now moment and future present mo moments, future present now moments as well. So in any given present moment where you are manifesting from one present moment to the next present moment, you've got an infinite number of timelines available to you. And that whole array of infinite number of possible timelines that you could connect into when you move from one moment to the next with a range of vibrational frequencies. So moving from the dense timelines to, to higher timelines. So the lower timelines where your ego is leading, your beliefs that used to serve you are creating your timeline and all the results that you don't want so that you can start to feel this, you know, people talk about self-sabotage and old paradigms, so anything that's attached to a lower vibrational density, so thoughts, beliefs and emotions, all those things. And then as we release all that energy and programming, we move all the way up to the higher timelines and so aligned with your purpose, with your higher vibrational thoughts and beliefs. So this is your, your highest timeline. So in any given moment, at any time that you manifest from now to your, your next now moment, you're connecting into a timeline in your future of potentiality. And that has a range all the way up to the highest timeline. That's what we want with flow, ease, joy, impact, all those good things. So ideally we want to create our defaults to be aligned to our highest timeline. And, and the good news is we can, there's, you know, there, there are some specific things that we can do. So if you were to, you know, take a moment and close your eyes and imagine you're facing forward in your life with an entire array of possible timelines that are available to you. The reason that you don't automatically default to your highest timeline is because of the past timelines that are pulling you back through memory, through trauma held within the body. So this is through energetic beliefs, thoughts, patterns, unconscious programming. And these timeline cords are holding you back and making it more and more difficult for you to be able to, to choose to align yourself and move forward through to your most aligned divine 
timeline. So this is why when I'm when I'm working with my private clients or teaching our Helix Method Mentors, this is our certification program that we have, how to collapse timelines. We work with the past timelines, the present and the future timelines, and we've got an incredible technique to do this really, really quickly. And depending on how many of these past timelines of events of trauma, past relationships that aren't resolved, just to give you some examples, old memories of wounds, unconscious programming as a result of those wounds, these are all timelines that are lowering your vibrational frequency so they're holding an energetic charge and that charge is slowing down your path to what you desire and then you're defaulting to a lower density timeline does that does this make sense let me know if this is resonating in the comments so we can see what is going on in our reality and this shows us if we are choosing higher timelines or if we're in a timeline that is showing us that there are traumas energies to be healed and transmuted and as you change the energetic charge in your past and heal these timelines and heal the events you let go of that energetic connection so you're freeing up more of your energy to be in this now moment and in the flow state so that's raising your vibration and as you change the energy all around these past ex ex experiences you stop the energy leaks and momentum starts to build and you'll notice that you're able to manifest more quickly so your vibration is raising so you're jumping into new timelines awesome so let me know if you've had this experience where you're like oh wow it feels like you're you're, you're quantum leaping things start to happen really fast because as you heal and collapse the energy of that old timeline you this is the great thing is you release it for everyone involved so that it isn't impacting your your future choice choices so anywhere we're holding on to past financial traumas could be including like old bankruptcy or perhaps business decisions that didn't pan out as you had intended, or in a holding pattern where you never quite accomplish your goals, we're living out an old timeline in the current moment. So it's impacting our decisions we make, the actions we take, and then of course the you know the results that we have. And one of my clients I did this with was blown away because she, following our work together, she brought in a 60k a month with more ease and grace, she said, than she ever had before. It the the timeline collapsed, we collapsed the timeline. And, you know, we have our Helix Method mentors that we train. They have their clients having these kinds of results where uh, one of my uh, clients mentioned, who's a Helix Method me mentor, mentioned to me the other day that she had a client that had had no business for, 60, uh, for six months, so from the January to the August, that's um, eight months. And then she had a 16K month in, in, that, in that August, which is just <laughs> phenomenal. Um, and this is, you know, so easy to do when you know how to do it by changing the programming in your brain and your vibrational frequency by changing your relationship with the past you stop the energy leaks and allow yourself to increase your capacity and send out a, a more congruent message to the universe and this is where you change your timeline so we've got our personal timelines and then we also have our collective timelines as, as human beings on the planet that we all share a collective timeline and that we there are numerous timelines that have been running at the same time so if we think about the impact of these and the collective around us one of the there's so many examples you can you can come up with but if we think of world war ii so from 1939 to 1945 we had world war ii and then the number of years after that how many generations were impacted by that collective experience and what's going to be the collective experience generationally for everybody that's been through the globally through the pandemic so many people will have experienced at that time in terms of the the world war dealing with grief loss of loved ones loss of opportunities loss of jobs i mean so much loss so much trauma lots of poverty, scarcity, huge amounts of lack. And of course, it's had that impact playing on everybody's minds when they are raising their children, so the parents raising their children as they're going through that, that experience themselves. And all those collective timelines have an impact moving forward. So I can see this in my own family, for example. So my mum was born in 1943, and when she was born, her dad was actually away at war. He was a naval officer, a captain, 
and she didn't she tells me she didn't actually meet her dad until she was three so she then grew up in a family where they were really having to focus on day-to-day -day living really being considered about you know what was coming you know in terms of types of it's almost like rations with uh, how they were behaving and moving forward from years years to come so saving everything um, you know and this carried through right into my childhood because my mum had grown up like that so saving everything from elastic bands like their gold milk cartons darning socks, gluing everything <laughs> that could be glued back together, saving parts of things, drawers full of bits and pieces that might be useful just in case. So my grandmother did this, my mother did this. You know, coming from that mindset, if she didn't need it, then somebody else might. Does this resonate? Can you, re you recognise this collective timeline in, in your family as well? This one might resonate for you as well. Not worrying about food in cupboards going out of date, saying it's perfectly good and we can eat it. So where has this come from? Because I know that my grandmother did that, my mother did that. It's saving everything, holding on, holding on to things. And then the other side of it was in my family. My dad was born in the, in the 1930s and he was one of the kids that was sent away on a train to the countryside when they evacuated all the kids out of London. So he and his brother off, they went on the train with their little label. Um, identifying who they were and then their mother joined them my grandmother joined them and she raised the boys in the countryside while their dad stayed in London because he was working on the London Underground so they eventually split up and uh, my grandmother so my dad's mum raised her two boys as a single parent and they actually hardly saw their dad had no relationship really to speak of um, with him and guess what I became a single mum myself and have raised my two boys without them having a relationship with, so to speak, of, of with their father as well. So as I look back, I can observe through myself and through both my parents, so many generational programmes running. Have you had that kind of reflection yourself when you, when you consider your own family situation? So if you think about that collective event, you know, with the World War, just being passed all that trauma, experience, patterns, programming being passed down through the through families and generations, all those belief systems being programmed. It's a, an energetic template of poverty, lack of consciousness that is imprinted across the collective and it takes generations for that that collective timeline to collapse unless you're doing the inner work and break the pattern for yourself and for future generations to to come. And, you know, by becoming more aware of our thought processes and moving forward and living in that space of you know, what would love do, we, by doing that inner work, we are collapsing timelines on a collective level as well as on a personal level. And that's how we're being able to manifest the new paradigm on, on Earth. As we're doing the inner work, we collapse the collective timelines. So not only for our own experiences, but for the broader collective. So it's just the most important work that you can do as you're doing the energy healing, the alignment, the manifesting work in this moment. Know that you're changing past timelines, you're changing future timelines for, for generations to come. So this is why I believe that if you want to live at your highest potential and to choose your highest timeline, doing the inner work to change your identity, to really understand your relationship with yourself and all the hidden blocks that you aren't aware of, because they're, they're, they're hiding, <laughs> and healing of your past experiences and taking care of your manifesting is the most important action that you can take. Let me know what is, what's landing for you or what's resonating. We'd love to you know, continue the conversation in the chats so that when we do this work, you can have the love that you want in life. You can make the impact that you want to make in your, in your life and your business. This really opens you up to receive more more love, more money, to optimise your health. It really goes across all areas of your life. So as you're doing that inner work, what's happening is your vibrations raising and then that impacts everybody around you because we truly, we rise together. So, oh, it's fantastic to see who's joined me. I'd love to, I'd love to know what's landing. What's the light bulb moment <clears throat> for you? Let me know in the comments. And of course, if you're catching the replay, we'd love to, to, to see where you're at, what, what resonates for you. Um, this is important, important stuff. So if you'd like my help in collapsing timelines for yourself so you can choose a higher timeline, reach your highest potential, 
And by that, I mean the potentiality beyond what you can currently see. This is where you're giving yourself permission to dream bigger. There are a, a few ways I can help you. We've got our Art of Alignment Facebook community, which is a free group. This is the place to be for high achievers and coaches committed to living the life of their dreams. So please do come and join us there. And as members of our community, we love to gift you a free spot in our up and coming Breakthrough the Money Season Masterclass, which starts on the 7th of November. So this is where we'll be collapsing some timelines together. Or if you're ready to go for it, then pop me a message as we are enrolling into our programs right now. I've got all the inf info in a Google Doc for you. So we've got two programs. We've got the Wealth Portal, which is my hand-selected group of coaches and entrepreneurs who are ready to break through their, <coughs> excuse me, their money ceiling and to have exponential success without two hours a day of having to do energy releasing rituals, without affirmations galore, or without you know adding more work to the plate. So if you think expanding your money consciousness, mastering energetics and manifesting so you can allow your business to grow with more ease and break through the money ceiling, then reach out and let me know you'd like the info on the Wealth Portal. And then we've also got the Infinite Prosperity Collective, which is my hand-selected group of coaches, healers and mentors who will grow profitably and sustainably, sustainably towards having a multi-six-figure business with the balance and harmony in all areas of life because that is important whilst being able to impact their clients at the deepest level because we rise together so think about this as becoming the go-to person in your field for your area of expertise and clients so that your clients are easily stepping into your invitations to work with you and then they continue to work with you for years to come so what we get up to there is we're blending business strategies and energetics for, for your growth um, and journey to, to multi six figures. So just pop me a message. Let me know if you'd like to, to chat further. And we've got all the information in a, a very unfancy Google Doc for you, but we can pop it over to you and we can take it from there. Anyway, lovely to hang out with you all today. Thank you for joining me. If you join me live or on the replay, I will pop back and say hello to everybody in the comments and uh, carry on this conversation and connecting with you. Sending you all my love <clears throat> and uh, I will speak to you very soon. Follow your soul. It truly, truly knows the way. <laughs>